Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President of Amazon Web Services, Andy Jassy. This conference is different from most of the technology conferences. This is not a sales and marketing conference. This is an education and learning conference. At this point, we have over a million active customers in AWS. And a couple additional data points of scale. Our storage service, which is Amazon S3, you can see this tracks the year-over-year -year amount of petabytes transferred to and from S3. And the same is true in our compute service, EC2. This tracks the number of instance hours run in EC2 year-over-year, -year, and it's growing 99% already on a very large base. So the business has grown very quickly. You can have different opinions about how complete and how fast this transition to the cloud is going to happen. But it also seems pretty apparent at this point that cloud has become the new normal. That companies of every size are deploying new applications by default to the cloud. And then large companies are trying to figure out how to migrate as many of their applications as fast as possible to the cloud. It is my pleasure to bring up the Executive Vice President and CTO of Major League Baseball, Joe Inzarello. One of the things that we're working on that I think is the most exciting, cool thing I've worked on in my career in baseball is StatCast that's actually powered by AWS. And quite simply, what we're trying to do is for the first time measure things we've never been able to measure before. And so we looked around, AWS was the clear choice. They were the only ones who had the technology, the only ones who had the scale, the only ones that we could take advantage of the ability to burst during the season when we need a lot of this, and then come down when we don't need to in the off season. It is my pleasure to bring up the Chief Executive Officer of Healthcare Informatics Solutions and Services at Philips, Jeroen Toss. Because we're talking about adding a petabyte a month. A petabyte a month. And we're doing that around the globe, in 100 countries. So there's only one company that we can do this that gives us the reliability and the scale and the performance. So I am very, very excited to announce the launch of a new a brand new database engine called Amazon Aurora. And this offering will be fully MySQL compatible, but it'll have five times the performance of the typical MySQL implementation. And it's a tenth of the cost of the leading commercial database engine solutions. And we have a deployment service that we call Apollo internally. I'm excited to tell you that we're providing this experience to all of you, our customers, in the form of a new service that we call AWS Code Deploy, which is a fully managed, high-scale deployment service for you that's available today. First of these new services is AWS Code Pipeline. And what it is, is it's a continuous build and test and integration service. The other is a service that we call AWS Code Commit. And so this is a managed code repository in the cloud. It's highly durable. It's highly available. And today, we're announcing, that's immediately available for you, a new service called the AWS Key Management Service, which is encryption and key management and compliance made easy. And so we're introducing today a service in preview called AWS Config, which is a new resource dependency and auditing service for you. And so it's my pleasure to announce today, coming in early 2015, the AWS Service Catalog. And this will allow enterprise administrators to create portfolios of products set up in the configuration in the way that they want them deployed. And then they can make them easily discoverable for employees at their company. But when there was a significant amount of press that the CIA chose AWS to run their infrastructure on top of. And a lot of our customers would say to us when we would meet with them, well, if it's secure enough for the CIA to use, it's probably secure enough for us too. I'd like to welcome to the stage Taylor Stansberry, who's the Senior Vice President and CTO of Intuit. In fact, we've been so pleased with our partnership with Amazon and their positive impact on our company that we named Amazon Partner of the Year. So what's next is, that over the coming years, we plan to move the rest of our applications over to AWS. And we're doing this so that we can speed development, so that we can innovate faster, so that we can solve our customers' problems better. I'm going to bring up now the Chief Technology Officer of Johnson & Johnson, Dan Zell. 
We partner with Amazon as well for virtual private cloud and, and public cloud capabilities. It's all about collapsing the infrastructure, automating as much as we can, creating seamless interoperability with the data centers. I like to refer to the hybrid cloud as the borderless data center. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for spending your time the next few days. And my hope is that you take this learning that you get in the next three days and you take it back to your companies and change your business and change the customer experience for your customers. Thank you very much.